Morning, everyone. All right, here are some words you probably don't think go together. Sweets, healthy, mm -hmm. and organic. Oh, wow. Well, Green Heart Bakery brings all of those together in delicious treats. Elaine Shrewsbury has brought some with her today. Elaine, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I have to tell you, just looking at the spread that you have brought, I would never have guessed that these are actually good for us. That's right. So that's amazing. Now, mm -hmm. before we kind of get into what you brought, let's talk about your customers. Who do you yes. kind of typically see or make things for? Well, that's a very interesting question. A lot of times it's people who are healthy, and other times it's people who want to be healthy. And so that kind of covers everybody. I mean, I have some people who are plant-based, some are vegan, some people don't like super sweet desserts, some people like organic, some people don't want fat, some don't. Uh, there's just so many different, you know, little categories that I serve. And I sell, of course, at the farmer's markets, and I meet a lot of different types of people there. Now, of course, we're looking at the treats that you brought. Mm -hmm. They all look very beautiful. I see something Thanks. that would be great, like on a Thanksgiving table, uh, something that I could just eat, like on a Wednesday. Right. But what about like specialty cakes? Uh, Heather mm -hmm. actually just got married, and I'm in the process right. of planning. So, do you do like Actually, wedding cakes? Yes, you. yes, yes. I do do wedding cakes, and so you can see this here yeah. is a chocolate brownie cake. Um, certainly a wedding cake, of course, usually then the frosting is going to be vanilla, but it's still, you can see the squirrels and whatever that can be done. Realize that this frosting is made out of silk and tofu. This is not made out of sugar and fat. Um, and so this frosting actually has a plant protein content and uh, it's very creamy on the tongue. You wouldn't know that it was silk and tofu unless I told you. But the point is, is that not only is it not fattening, but after you eat it, you feel good. That is amazing because I can't remember the last time I felt good after <laughs> eating chocolate cake. <laughs> exactly. Well, while we're on the topic, let's talk about the other treats that you brought. Very good. So then here, this is a, a an upside down pear and cranberry cake. Now, because we just did the pecan festival here in Tucson where we were vendors there last weekend, I have quite a few of the local pecans from Green Valley. So for fun, I threw also pecans into the body of the cake, but it doesn't have to be that way, of course. As you said, this cake is great. Some people will have it for dessert, but really at the farmer's market, I have it cut into individual slices and a lot of people buy it and get it as healthy alternative to a Danish, yeah, right? Because you've got the whole grain oat flour, there's a good plant and protein content in there. Uh, there are 200 vitamins and phytonutrients in oat flour. That's three times what you get in organical wheat. And besides, the oat is gluten-free for the people that are conscious about gluten-free. There's no fat added to this cake at all. Not super sweet, you have slices of fresh ripe pear, Contrast it against the tartness of the cranberry. It's really good. So this can be a dessert or a snack. This is Elaine's Rainforest Cake. That was my first product in 1993. Huh. Wow. If I had stuck with that, I would have had a much simpler life. <laughs> so um, that is all unsulfured and unsweetened dried fruit and whole Brazil nuts. That, of course, keeps beautifully, ships beautifully. Those ship every year. There's a, actually, there's a larger size, more like the size of a brick. This is 12 ounces. There's a bigger size that's 30, oh, like wow. the size of a brick. It goes in these handmade, you know, white burlap bags. Then there's a rainforest hang tag. You know, in December, people like things like this. It tells the significance of each of the ingredients, like oats give you courage and bravery and heart. And there's orange that. zest in here, and that's for prosperity and et cetera. Great Christmas present. It is We see the little gluten-free sticker on that one. Yes. And this one, like I said, would be a great thing to put even as like a centerpiece for your Thanksgiving. Yes. I'm taking a lot of orders for those for Thanksgiving. So that is a pumpkin pecan uncheesecake. Again, that is made of silken tofu. The only fat in that is in the pecans. Even that thin crust underneath that is also the organic oat flour with a little uh, ginger in it and maple syrup. That's all. Yum. And you actually brought something that we're going to get to try. Yes. And I'm so going to cut you some of this. While you're cutting that, Elaine, mm -hmm. tell us kind of how we order if we're interested in maybe purchasing uh, The something. best thing to do, of course, you can see things on my website, Green Heart Bakery. But even so, the best thing to do is to call me because some of my customers might be gluten-free. They might be celiacs. Others might be diabetic. Others are vegans. You know, people have so many different food sensitivities. And 
I'm very accustomed to accommodating those. So I always prefer if people phone me, you know, okay. rather than just messaging me, because I like to speak to them personally and make sure that I'm making exactly what they want. That is amazing customer service. Well, thank you. I think that's incredible. Oh. Ranberry, <laughs> mm. is it amazing? Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask yeah. a question and then try mine. Mm. Oh, please. I want to know, how long have you been doing this? I know you mentioned something about 1993 Three. Over here. Yes, I opened the first vegan bakery, and that was in 1993. And that was in Los Angeles. And I've been living here in Tucson since January 2011. Um, we moved here with our horses. It's be obviously Tucson's a beautiful place to live for horses. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Yeah. I would never have known that right. it was actually it's just not delicious. Bad for me yeah. at all. It was good right. for you. It's just delicious. Very flavorful. That's what Thank I think you. is surprising. That's what's surprising. Um, it, everything I make is it's usually described as it has a very clean. Taste. Yes, definitely. That's, that's, that's a very clean taste. That's a great uh, way to, to explain it. Thank you mm -hmm. so much for coming. Thank you for bringing Thank us all you. these treats. Thank you. We're going to let everybody know to learn more about Green Heart Bakery. You can call again 954 2409 or visit greenheartbakery.com.